so much, Lizzie. Good afternoon. My name is Julie One, and I'm the incoming council member for District 26, which is in Western Queens. Hearing everyone's story just gives me flashbacks of three years ago when I, it was just like any other day. I was just sitting at my desk in front of a computer at work, and I got a phone call from my dad. And I could tell by his voice of panic and anxiety that something was wrong. And when I answered, he couldn't even say hello. And I asked him what happened. And he had let me know that my mom had gone on her way to work, and she was hit by a car with someone who was texting and driving on her right away at a pedestrian light. Three years later, I am fortunate enough to say that she is still with us. But three years later, my family is still paying $300 a month plus interest for her health costs for the two surgeries that she had to have because the driver's license and their insurance did not cover all of her medical needs. And now the onus is on us to cover her health costs. And for me to stand here with you, my heart sinks hearing story after story of every person who was loved and still is so dearly beloved to have lost their lives to such a tragedy of traffic violence. And for the helplessness that I felt when I got that phone call as my heart sank, my heart is with you because I know that your grief and your sorrow is so deep and it continues. But I know that all of us here are using that to make sure that no one else feels this helplessness. And I'm so grateful for my colleagues that stand here with me to say enough is enough. And we, it is our job to help our constituents. It is our job to protect our city, to say no to retroactive designs when life after life has to be lost to say this intersection is not safe enough. The green paint on the streets are not safe enough to say this is not enough. So we stand in solidarity with you to say that the work continues and we are here to fight with you. And I read the names of the lives lost in November. And also I want to honor Mr. Tu, who I'm going to, um, who I'm going to uh, name here because he, his life was recently lost, also a delivery worker who was hit by a driver who had a suspended license in my district this month, uh, this past month. Name unknown, motorist, age 34. Name unknown, motorist, age 24. Ching Tu, cyclist, age 58. Alex Rivera, motorist, age 23. Name unknown, pedestrian, age 69. Name unknown, motorist, age 46. Marble, Mar Mablin Jones, pedestrian, age 78. Luis Mendez, pedestrian, age 33. Khalid Rahman, pedestrian, age 69. Name unknown, pedestrian, age 56. Um, Khalid, oh, Terrell Lumpkin, motorist, age 28. Name unknown, pedestrian, age unknown. And the total number of people injured this month so far are thousands and counting. And I thank you so much for reliving your trauma to do this work because I know recalling the loss of the lives that you are grieving is not easy. So thank you so much for continuing to share your personal stories with us to make sure that this does not continue to happen in our city. My name is Mary Beth Kelly co-founder of Families for Safe Streets. It was my north, my south,